for the Meadowlands, the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon. I'm Bob Fitzsimmons with Bobby Rosengard and the orchestra, Renee Hambly, and ladies and gentlemen, Tony Orlando. Thank you. Uh, I got to tell you something. I got to share this with you. We've known each other a few years now. And I think that, uh, see, 1961, I had a record out in this uh, area that Murray the K played called Halfway to Paradise. I was 16 years old. So then we came with a record called Bless You, 1961. Another hit in New York City. I was 17 years old. So I've known New York City and the surrounding areas for 28 years as an entertainer. I think you, you hung in with the Tony Orlando and Dawn show for four years that the girls and I did. I think by now, like you do with Jerry Lewis, like I do when I watch someone on television for a long time, you get to know them pretty good. You get to know when people are shucking and jiving you. There ain't no way that by now, those of you out there, except for the very young ones, you know me well enough to know that whether it be about my own life or about someone else's, I have been a straight shooter. I have said it to you straight out. When I've blown it and I was on a self-destructive back in 77 and did my drugs in those days as a foolish, idiotic, self-destructive kid, I was open. Before it was fashionable and chic to come out and tell you the truth, I told you the truth. Okay, I don't have to defend my honesty with you, but I got to at least use it as a preliminary so that you know what I'm about to say is coming from a place that is honest. Believe me when I tell you, we ain't doing good. When I tell you we ain't doing good, I'm talking about we're doing terrible. Now, I don't know how else to go about this, but take it on as a street fighter. I told Jerry Lewis about a month ago, I said, look, the way I look at this thing, when you asked me to be part of this, is that we are your arms, your legs, all of us who work for MDA, and those of you out there, and you're the heartbeat. You're the heartbeat of this body called the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We are your army. We got to go out and fight this battle. Every year it's a battle. Some years are better than others. Some years are easier. In the six years I've been here, I tell you, there have been a couple of years when I look up and I go, my God, they're coming and they're pumping and the money is coming through. It ain't happening now. Now, I don't know whether it's because we've all been disappointed with things like politicians blowing their campaigns by doing things they shouldn't be doing and people who preach the gospel doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And so we lose faith in people. I mean, let's be honest with it. We lose faith when someone's standing up here and they, they're going to sock it to you in the name of the Lord. How in the world are you going to believe it when we're socking it to you in the name of children? Now, I'm telling you straight. I'm out here to do battle. I can't, I know no other way. Some of you get turned off by this. I'm sorry. You can only go with whatever it is that's inside you that's honest and true, and then you face the consequences later. But I'll be damned if I'm going to, to go to war for these people, because it's not only children, it's adults. We have 40 different neuromuscular diseases to battle here. ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, it hits people in their 30s and 40s. There ain't nobody exempt, man. There ain't nobody exempt from any disease. There's nothing stopping us from muscular dystrophy to, to cerebral palsy, which my sister suffered from for 21 years. My mother carried my sister from room to room. For 21 years, she wore pampers. For 21 years, she ate she ate strained baby food. For 21 years, I as a kid remember looking for that, cr when she would cry, because she had like an eight month mentality intellectually, that's as far as she went for 21 years, as eight months old, that was her IQ. She was that retarded. I remember, man, what it was to find that itch. You know what the itch was? Well, it could be the itch 
that meant I'm hungry. It could meant the itch that meant I'm tired. It could mean the cry that meant I just got an itch. Go ahead and find it. Go ahead and try and find an eight-month-old child where that itch is to be scratched. She couldn't sit in a wheelchair. She was too... My mother's watching now, and forgive me, Mom, for making you feel uncomfortable because this station, Channel 9, reaches a lot of the country. goes all the way to Las Vegas where she's sitting watching this part. She's sorry, Mother, but you know as well as I that what I do up here is not only for Jerry's kids, but it's for your daughter, my sister, Rhonda Marie. In her memory, I go to battle. For every single parent in here, every single one who not only is depending upon these dollars for a cure, but depending upon these dollars to buy a wheelchair they can't afford. You know, a wheelchair is $7,500, not counting the aspirins, not counting the medication, not counting the hospital bill, and we can only go to two people, friends. We go to the good Lord upstairs and to you out there. That's it. We got those two alternatives. We got no other alternative. And if somebody else can come up with a better idea for telethons, please don't knock us anymore. Come up with a better one. Don't go out there and say, oh, there's the telethon again. Why do they have to do them? I don't want to hear that. Do that only if you can come up with a better way to raise $33 million the way Jerry Lewis does and $5.2 million the way you here in New York have. Prove, please prove that this city can care under any kind of crisis and that you don't stereotype people and that you don't put them in a slot and say, well, you know what? Everybody's a liar. Well, what? everybody's not a liar because we've got to go out here and battle and prove to you again and over again that we're coming and shooting from the heart. I have gotten very close to some of the people and children with muscular dystrophy and their family. I only wish you could. I only wish you could have met Shedrick Palmer, who died three months ago. Shedrick Palmer, now check this out, everybody. Shedrick Palmer wore a new pair of shoes every time he would come to this telephone. When I tell you as he was wheeling up to me in his wheelchair, the bottoms of his shoes were smooth as can be for obvious reasons. And he said to me, Tony, there are more reasons why people wear a new pair of shoes other than just walking in them. It's a symbol on how you feel about where you're going who you're showing up for, you know, like graduation, you know, like confirmation, you know, like that bar mitzvah, you know, like that wedding, that new pair of shoes for that moment is a symbol of where you are taking it. Last year, we had a little girl named Amy in here. Little Amy sat in here and told us jokes. Her sense of humor filled this room. She died this year. I'm laying it on you. I got only two people to go to, New York City, New Jersey, Staten Island, Connecticut, tri-state area. I got the man upstairs and you in your living room. And you can bet on it that I'm praying every day. I learned to pray when I prayed hard for my sister. I learned hard that prayers are answered. You listen to me. I've gone to him and I've gotten it time and time again and now I've gone to you and I've gotten it time and time again and no differently than the way I ask him please would you do me a favor I'm asking you please would you do me a favor and pick up the phone and call it's hard to come out here and become an emotional geek it's embarrassing sometimes to come out here and have to beg for a dollar I know how you can react to this, but I know no other way. So I'll face the consequences of this one. You'll look at me on a street corner someday and say, I didn't like the way you spoke to me. That, fine, I'll face that consequence. Now I have stopped this telephone 
right now and the, all the producers and everybody the, there were things to do at hand that I never got to my apologies to them my apologies to Renee Hambly who is joining us here for the first time my my friend Renee who's going to he be here to help us my apologies to you in this segment it's a sunny day out today you know what that means we live in fear that a sunny day should happen for us. A sunny day on this Labor Day is disaster. Because that means you may not be home to call us. Would you please do me a favor and make it a very sunny day in here. Make believe it's raining outside. Pick up the phone before you leave to go over to your sister's house or your mom's house. Please, please, please call with a contribution. Please make that number with 10%, well over 10% behind. You're holding up three fingers. Does that mean three minutes? Three minutes to go back to Las Vegas? I've taken up all this time. Listen, we're going to go to Renee right now. I have to respect the business at hand because the business at hand, these people have raised thousands of dollars. They've got checks to come in. We're going to do it in a fast motion. Forgive us for that fast motion. I mean no disrespect to the checks and the people who went out and earned that money. Thank you for listening to me. I hope we've made a connection. I hope there's a connection being made on how I feel. Please, please go to the phone. Renee. Thank you, Tony. And don't ever apologize for telling people what is in your heart. Thank you. Come on up. I have some people that are helping you in your fight and my fight. This is very close. Thank you. The audience is standing, and that's a good sign, because we need a timpani. Let's get a timpani, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that is a tribute. Twelve million sixty-six thousand one hundred and seventy-seven dollars. It's eight thirty-five in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are in our sixteenth uh, hour. That's a tribute to the American public. They're hearing us. They're responding. I think that's marvelous. To those that are not hearing us, for whatever reason, and they are not responding, I'm telling you in advance. We are going for the juggler now. We are going to inform you in a manner that may seem crass. It may be uh, obnoxious to you. It might be difficult for you to deal with. But you have to know the facts. You have to know that you are involved. And I believe you have a responsibility. We're going to give you the information that will touch your heart, possibly uh, tap a nerve end here and there. It'll certainly wrench you because these are human beings that you can certainly identify with. Our purpose here is to do that in the interim, entertain you, and try to keep you glued to that set. The pace of this program depends basically on theatrics, information, and the need that this organization has to gather funds to help those that we serve. So we will entertain you at this point, but trust me, Stay with us, and you will be well informed, and you will indeed jump aboard and make those numbers grow in the next six, seven hours. My next guests just completed a six-week tour through the United States. They are 23 of the top high school jazz musicians selected from a nationwide audition under the direction of Bob Kerno. Here is the McDonald's Jazz Band. Let's make them welcome, everybody.
Incredible, incredible. Now, you imagine how good they'd sound if you rehearsed? <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the McDonald's Jazz Band. You're super, better than ever. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> Here's Ed McMahon. Thank you, Jerry. Let's welcome back our telethon labor chairman, the president of the Associated Actors and Artists of America, high a vice president of the AFL-CIO and a board member of MDA, Fred O'Neill. Hi, Fred. Welcome back. The Muscular Dystrophy Association have been waging the battle against muscular diseases. All of us in the labor movement have been right by your side. 
The nation's workers are proud of the vital role that they play in this telethon. I'd like to take a moment to especially recognize the International Brotherhood of Carpenters. Don't bother about the microphone. <laughs> United Rubber and Cork Workers, Linoleum Plastic Workers of America, the International Union of the United Auto Workers, Aerospace Agricultural Implement and Workers of America, that's a long title, of course, and the International Brotherhood of Painters and Allied Workers. And as you know, Jerry, there's no individual more qualified to speak about the special relationship that exists between the working people of this country and MDA than the president of the FFL-CIO and the vice president of MDA. And that's Lane Kirkland. Let's watch. 504000 dollars Nice group of people. And they'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, the O'Connor family of Washington... Brenda, since you're the spokesman for the family, let me thank you for coming. Thank let you. me thank you for allowing us to use you. I thank you for the MC's meeting. You were wonderful. We all fell in love with you. And uh, you're helping us tremendously with your presence. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you are. Um, you know, of course, that the people that I talked to earlier must respond to this family that has been attacked as you have. Right, right. And they will respond. They what I would to. like you to do is look right in the camera and talk to them and tell them how important it is. We're very encouraged about the breakthroughs Frederick's attacks has just had in their research. We have a lot of hope, but we need everyone to stand beside us. And if we all stand together, and in our case, sit together, we can have a big miracle in the near future, and we're needing that miracle. Our family is, and everyone else who has neuromuscular disease. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Karen. The O'Connors. You have to go to your phones now, or at least I'd like to think you will. I think if you're not moved by people that need you to move, uh, I will have to think of another way. But I did tell you that we will get to the heart of this and we will move you. We will try. We hope you do. Ed. Right now, representing Warner Cable Communications on behalf of the cable television industry is Warner's corporate manager, Nick Bandy, and its corporate director, advertising and promotions, Nancy McCormick. Nancy, Nick, welcome. Thank you. Jerry, on behalf of the cable television industry, we're very proud to be able to present a check to help in the fight of muscle diseases. In presenting this check, Warner Cable would like to recognize and give special thanks to our cable customers and to the many dedicated Warner Cable employees who over the past four years have supported and helped raise over $1 million for Jerry's kids. Thank you. Jerry, as Nancy said, on behalf of the cable television industry, we're very proud to present this first check for $310,000. Thank you. There's a lot of marvelous people out there. You don't really always know who they all are, so I don't always know who I am really talking to, except that I'm talking to the American public. And if I can move you or stir you at all, look at the wonderful things that people are doing. But I think you should recognize that although you are small in number, you're huge to us. Your $5 pledge is a tremendous, tremendous assist to moving that pledge board. Five dollars, ten dollars, one dollar. We'll take it happily, proudly, and you will feel terrific if you do that. You gotta consider that. And before I present our next guest, I wanna just quickly touch on terrific people here in Las Vegas. I am a native, I'm a little prejudiced, but I love living here. We have super people here. I'll give you an example. 
Art's Place is one of my favorite restaurants that I go to. And they send chicken soup for my orchestra and for all the performers. And it's been back there all night. Jugs of chicken soup. I think they thought we were all sick, but it's delicious chicken soup. So to Pat and Steve and Art's Place, we thank you. My favorite Italian restaurant, which is Piero's, and I go there three times a week because the pasta is pretty good. Freddie Glussman, a Jewish guy, has this best Italian restaurant in Las Vegas. If you ever had Jewish pasta, you gotta try this. It's marvelous. He took care of my van with all Italian food during the course of the night. And those are things that people voluntarily do, and I think that's super, just super. Thank you, Freddie. My next guest will be a featured soloist during the current season with the New York Philharmonic. What are you whispering and pointing for? Peter, Peter, what are you pointing at? What are you, Peter, I'm talking to you. What are you pointing at? Talk to me, Peter. You crazy banana, what are you pointing at? I want Ed to say something. You want Ed to say something? Yeah. Well, yell over, Ed, say something. Ed. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so okay. hard, was it? Go ahead. All right, Ed. Peter, you can interrupt me any time for me to interrupt Jerry. Okay. I'm interrupting you, in you now. Are you interrupting I me? I want a timpani. Ed wants a I timpani. I want to see it. Yeah, do it. Roll do it. it. Do it. Yeah. Lucky 13. Don't tell me she just picked it up this week. She had to practice. Ed. Please join me in welcoming the president of the Foles Vending Company and MDA vice president, Roger Foles, and his wife, Adele. Hello, Roger. Hi, Adele. I'm sorry. How are you? Hi, Adele. Come right over here, Roger. Me, huh? Jerry, it's great to be back. This is our second Jerry Lewis telethon this Labor Day weekend. I want to introduce my wife, Adele, whose birthday it is this week. Happy birthday, Adele. May you have many more healthy and happy Thank ones. Thank you. The way... <laughs> That's it. The way our company functions is generous storekeepers from all over the country contribute their space for our vending machines containing gumballs and candy confections, thereby making Jerry's kids the recipient of donations rendered by the revenue of these machines, and we want to keep doing it <laughs> for you and for the kids. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> Jerry, on behalf of these thousands of storekeepers from Maine to Florida to California and Hawaii who've donated their space and the Foles Vending Company and its employees who have worked so hard to raise this money. I'm proud to present to you our check for $650,000. Thank I can't thank you enough. Yes, I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And so will my kids, I'm sure. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Doug. Can I get a floor man over here? Please. It would be nice. To you, Ed. Thank you, Jerry. Here representing MasterCard International is its Vice President of Marketing, Caroline Brodnitz. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Jerry. How are you? I'm sorry, thanks. Nice to have you with us. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Jerry, MasterCard is proud to be part of the MDA Telethon for the fourth year in a row. We have in our St. Louis Authorization Center over 1,600 volunteers who are manning the phones, as well as authorization centers across the country. And Jerry, I spoke to the people in St. Louis a few minutes before coming here, and they have a message. Please, everyone, take out your MasterCard, your Visa, or your American Express. Go to your phone and dial 1-800-FIGHT-MD. Let's not disappoint a single one of Jerry's kids. 
Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, darling. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you for your help. I have the extreme pleasure of acknowledging a friend, a special friend. Can I have that mock-up? Is it gone? <laughs> okay. A special friend, a gentleman who is the editor of Parade Magazine. Parade Magazine is in your Sunday supplements. All of your papers all over this country carries Parade Magazine, or at least a majority of them. But in the end result, some 63 million people read Parade Magazine every Sunday. For the last five years, we have had the cover of Parade Magazine. The first year, a marvelous story written by Dotson Raider about Jerry Lewis and what he does. Then the second year, Walter Anderson asked me to write the article for Parade. Then the third year, the fourth year, the fifth year. I wrote four articles and had four covers. I was told by Walter that a president, who shall remain nameless, only made it three times. We made it five times. Can I have that, please? This is today. Today's Parade Magazine. With Mikey Neufeld. This man has taken it upon himself, who works for a magnificent man, one Mr. Newhouse, and has convinced Mr. Newhouse that we should have five covers five years in a row. By the way, it comes out on Sunday, the day of our telethon each year. This man cares desperately about what happens to my kids, and I had to take this moment to thank him and to ask him to grace the stage with me for just a moment. The editor of Parade, and probably one of the best human beings I've ever met, Mr. Walter Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Walter, we are fortunate this year that my next guest, who thrilled audiences last night, was able to stay over to be with us today. Here is the lovely singer and dear friend to this association, Maureen McGovern, ladies and gentlemen. aching smile even though it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky you will get by if you smile
time you must keep on trying smile what's the use of crying you'll find that life is still worthwhile if you Not bad, huh? She is, I mean, did you notice how I got the best out of her? What a doll. What a doll. Special lady. All of the people connected with this organization are special. They all come with so much emotion and so much commitment and so much passion and so much energy and so much love. There isn't one on my staff or my crew that doesn't have all of those beautiful attributes. That's why they all stand around here and they root and they push and they support because they want you to do the same they're doing. They want you to appreciate what they appreciate. They see what we are getting done. So we need you to use your phone. These people here are using their bodies, their brains, their minds, their hearts, their nerve ends only asking you to use the phone you don't even have to dial anymore just and you got us get us please get us Casey Jerry one other thing they also see that you're not the kind of a man who rests on his laurels you've been up from the very beginning every hour there has been something very special that you've done if not one or two or three or four things. And they know that a great humanitarian doesn't rest on his laurels, but gets on with it to see that the job is done. And that's what you do year after year after year. And that's why we're all here. And that's why millions, 120 million people are watching right now because of you. You're really special. Here's Angela Lansbury with an important message from MasterCard. Okay, Ed. Yes, sir. Stay with us, because in the next hour, Jerry will be back to bring us more entertainment. Like Kevin Reaney, the Boys Choir of Harlem, and much, much more. So don't you go away. It's the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon. I'm Bob Fitzsimmons with Bobby Rosengarn in the orchestra. Renee Hambly, a unique check receiving procedure. Thelma Hopkins, Joyce Vincent Wilson, of course. Our host, Tony Orlando. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> You know, we're going to go right now, right now, to Renee. I'd like to introduce my partners. And this is the moment I, whenever I've been in trouble in years, I always go to Telma and Joyce. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, Telma Hopkins, Joyce Vincent Wilson. I 
and Joyce Vincent Wilson. And I tell you what, after 11 years of not being together, it sure feels good to be an Oreo cookie again. <laughs> I don't like this job. I can't handle this job much anymore, I'll tell you that. That young man will be missed. Can we have a Rose and Garden, please? Rose and Garden! We're going to go back to Vegas now with Jerry and all our friends. Keep calling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please to know that 98% of the boys in this program go on to college. And here from New York, please welcome the Boys Choir of Harlem.
Brown Boys Choir. Thank you, gentlemen. Just terrific. I got something else terrific. Let's have a timpani. Yeah, do it. Go do to it. the board. Turn it. Yeah. You got it. All right, Jerry, now here representing Citgo Petroleum Corporation are its Vice President of Lubricants and Specialty Products, Charlie Mantee, and its Vice President of Marketing, Larry Britton. Hi. Jerry, we're here today representing the many Citgo distributors and dealers and customers, employees across the country who have really worked hard this past year for you and the kids. And more importantly, they look forward to, to, to their participation. It's a highlight for us every year. I'm going to ask Charlie now to share with you just exactly how successful we were in our 1988 Citco MDA campaign. Okay. Jerry, we topped last year's program by a wide margin. On behalf of all of the uh, Citco distributors, employees, and customers, I want to present you with our second check for $500,000. Oh, well. Thank you. Charlie, thank you so much. Jerry, when you, when you add this check to what Ron Hall gave you last night, that brings the Citco contribution to a record $1 million for 1958. We'll take it. Charlie. All right. Thank you okay. so much. And thank Ron Hall for us, too. We'll see you later. Next, here's a special message with a great meaning we desperately need people out there to recognize that leaving something in the will is awfully important. It means a great deal to a lot of people, and it just might be the thing that would make you comfortable. We are only recommending. We're not telling you it's something you must do, or should do for that matter. It's something you should think about. Ed? Jerry, part of the USJC's creed states that service to humanity is the best work of life. With us again is a man who emulates this philosophy, the president of the USJCs, Andy Tobin. Hi, Jerry. Good Welcome, to see Andy. you. Welcome, Andy. Good to see you. Thank you. Got some great folks here with us again. United States JCs, an organization of a quarter of a million young men and women around the country, are proud to be part of the Muscogee District Telethon again. This is our 12th year. Uh, we're over 18 and a quarter million dollars. We gave you uh, 250,000 before. We got a surprise for you in a minute. Don Provenzano from Louisiana is the top money maker in Louisiana. Hi, Sandy Welty is from Florida. She's just dying to meet you. Oh, you got Florida. Some... You know how I feel about Florida, don't you? <laughs> yes. It's top nice growth to state you. in America. If you look over to your, uh, to your viewing stand right there, we got some really special folks. Uh, that's Patrick Whitty, who's the president of the Louisiana JCs. Uh, Joey Hi. Edens is uh, from South Carolina. Oops, I lost, I'm sorry, I lost my place here, Jerry. That's okay. Where am I on here? Joey Edens, they call him Chewy from uh, South Carolina. Gary Minton from South Carolina. Peter Hi, LaPointe Gary. is the president of the New Hampshire JCs. Right next to him is Kerry Kittred, uh, Gordy Zill from Michigan, and Debbie Howard from North Carolina. They're all doing a great job for us. We're really proud of them. And, Hi, y'all. You know, very special people. This time, Jerry, if... Uh, I'd like to make a challenge to those folks who are between the ages of 21 and 39 to get up off the couch and go out and do something for your kids, get involved in the JCs or their community, and uh, make this check bigger and better every time. Please accept our check for half a million dollars here today, bringing our total of three quarters of a million. Jerry. Yes. Jerry. Yes. Jerry? I'm here. Oh. Where are you? I just wanted to stick in my two cents. I've been watching for the last 15 minutes what's going on here. You know, I just, not two cents. I want to stick in four cents, six okay. cents. Can I sort of address some of the people that have been watching us for, what, two weeks now? Go ahead. Hi. Right, right there. there. You know, I know I, myself, from my own experience, sometimes feel like we come from a condition of scarcity, like we only have so many kisses and we only have so much love and we only have so much money. I swear to you that's not true. Don't save your kisses. Don't save your love. 
kiss, 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 and love, 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 love. I know money's a little tougher, but express your bigness, your plentitude. Express your, your magnificence with your money. Don't take something that's going to be a sacrifice. You know what that amount is, something that's comfortable to you. Express your largeness with the money, whether it's $5 or $10. You re, you'll be replenished a thousand times over, I guarantee you. Huh? Does that, that make lovely. sense? Lovely. We come from largeness, not from smallness. Largeness is what we come from. I know we come from largeness, and I want you to say hello to some very large people. Yes. The Harley Davidson people. Would you do that for me? I will do it the moment you leave. What a guy! I love you, Harvey Corman. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Let us welcome back the President and Chief Operating Officer of Harley Davidson Incorporated, Richard Tierlich. Lang it's up to you, Mr. McMahon. All right, sir. Representing the cable television industry is the North Central Division Marketing Director of Telecommunications Incorporated, Eddie Hafner. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's heavy duty stuff. I don't know what more we can show you. I really don't know what more there is. I have used all of the tools, all of the tricks, all of the theatricality that I could possibly muster. I have to impress upon you at the same time, as I'm telling you we've done it all, that this program is for you and for your kids who I never ever want to be my kids. That should be significant enough or vol volatile enough for you to consider the circumstances and get up and make a call. A dystrophic child happens either at birth or when he's six or seven, just like that overnight. Your healthy child can go to bed tonight, fine, and wake up tomorrow and be one of my kids. I think you should consider that. And I think as heavy a thought as that is, think about it coming into your home. You know how we look in the papers and we see there was an axe murder? Well, that can't happen to us. A child molested, that would never happen in our family. Dope addict comes and ransacks your house, well, that would never happen to us. It happens to everybody. I just don't want you to be one of the 135,000 kids in this country. I don't want you to be one of the adults. Maybe the, one of the million neuromuscular problems that we have in this world today. Go to your phone, prevent it. Go to your phone and help those that already have been wrenched by it. Go to your phones. Jerry? Yes? They went to their phones and I need a timpani roll. Give them a timpani roll. And if they went to it. their phones, I'll be very happy to see what came from it. Do it! Yeah! Big Ed. Members of the International Association of Firefighters have been active in the battle against muscle diseases for over 35 years. From the IAFF are their district representatives. Elliot Hastings from Mississaugawa, Ontario. Curon Huddleston from Holly Springs, Mississippi. James Fennell from St. John's, New Brunswick. David Canfield from Jamel, California, and Juanita Johnston representing the IAFF Ladies Auxiliary. Now leading this delegation is the president of the IAFF and a vice president of MDA, Al Whitehead. Here he is, the president of the firefighters. Thank you very much. Welcome, Al. Ed has just introduced four of our district vice presidents and the president of our Ladies Auxiliary. 
Uh, they make up the, and represent the 175,000 members in the United States and Canada in the International Association of Firefighters. And they have been out working since I was last on. And you did say that we would come in around 9. We're a little bit late, but we do have something for you. We're not done. It's not enough, and we're not done, but it's a check for another million dollars. Are those my firemen? They're going to be back. They're going to be back. They're stubborn sons of guns, I'm telling you. Big Ed. Let's welcome back the advertising manager of the... ...have raised $850,000 for your kids. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. We have a young man. No, I had a young man. I knew a young man. I was that young man. I have aged in the last few hours about 19 years. I am so confused and mixed up. I'll be okay, folks. Bear with me. Super Jew will score heavily this evening. <laughs> Could I have a keynote, please? No, a keynote, Larry. Why not a chord? Up a lazy river by the old mill run. That lazy, lazy river in the noonday sun. Linger in the shade of a kind old tree. Throw away your troubles, dream a dream with me. Up a lazy river where the robin song awaits a bright oh hold it a second what is it if you're gonna sing that song can you do you think you could sing it the right way wait what do you mean if i could sing it the right way do you do you know the right way to sing it yes you do? Yes. Well, then get over here on this mark. Okay. Yep. Show me.
I get the idea, Jared. <laughs> I get the idea. It would be nice if you had another number. Do you have another number? Yes, I do. Would you do it for us? If you would like me to, sure. Thank you, my darling. I would love you to. Hit it! Shark baby has such teeth, yeah, and it shows them pearly whites. Just a jackknife has all my teeth, baby, and it keeps it out of sight. I get no one that shark but oh, with his teeth, babe, scarred below. But fancy gloves don't wear so my keys, babe. So there's never, oh no, oh, never a trace of it all. Oh, do it easy. Down the sidewalk, a hop, a boom, Sunday morning, a hop. Lies about it, just who's a Here's Carol Burnett with an important message from our friends at MasterCard International. If you had muscular dystrophy for just one day, you'd give for the rest of your life. So please call 1-800-FIGHT-MD and a MasterCard volunteer will charge your contribution. Help us make a miracle. If our toll-free number, 1-800-FIGHT-MD, for charging your contribution to MasterCard Visa or American Express is busy, please keep calling. Jerry. Jerry? Yeah? Before we cut away to all our love network, let's Tim take a timpani, look at that. Timpani, 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 do it. Roll it. Let me see 17. Yeah, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ed, let's billboard. Get ready, Louie, we're gonna billboard. Stay with us, because coming back in the next hour with Jerry will be Jack Lemon, Joe Williams, Cole and Company, and Roger Whitaker. So if you miss a little, 
You're as a lot. Did you hear Thelma's impression of Jerry Lewis? I gotta hear that again. Okay, here we go. Once more, we start showing that the tri-states have heart. Back again with Tony and Dawn. On the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you and welcome back. I think it's a good idea. You guys in the mood for a Rosen Garden? Yeah. Why not? Rosen Garden! You're ahead of us. $71. New York. New York. We're depending on you. It's true. Come on and call in right now. Cause I'm in love with you. Yeah. Joycey. Joycey. You know I really love you. You're noisy. Oh, I love you. Just make up the words. Like you go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You know that we can do it, will win, if you keep calling, all right, on the telephone. Make those phones ring, ladies and gentlemen. The Bronx, the Bronx, I can't rhyme it, Wall I will win it. I see what you were going to say for that. The Bronx. <laughs> I'm almost pregnant. What is this close? In all seriousness, I am, not a, I am not a fortune teller. I can't predict exactly when, but I can say this. It's my feeling, with the effort that you're putting out now and continue to help us with, that we can find cures for some of these patients in the lifetimes of patients being diagnosed today. Okay, that's, I like that. But when, I, when we have talked through the years, you and I, you have shown me, in a way, because I'm just a street kid, and I look and I see what the genetic breakdown is and you say okay there is the one we've recognized it it reminds me very much in my own way of thinking of things and tell me if I, I'm getting this okay the space all of our space travel the offshoots of this space travel gave us 99% of what we use today our computer uh, life our uh, the, the modern technologies we have all came out of the of the playpen that was used to discover, oh, oh, let's try this for the rocket, let's try that for the Challenger, let's try this for the Titan. So I think, if I get this right, that when you say this close, it's this close not only for muscular dystrophy, but all of the offshoots, all of the benefits all of the genetic diseases. all the genetic diseases, right. all of them. An inroad in one is an inroad generally 4, in all. 4,000 of them. 4,000 diseases affecting over tens of millions of people in this country and many more than that worldwide. It's an important endeavor. You have been so kind to thank us for the work, but you are the work. You are what we're here for. Please, the best of luck to you. Keep it up, Dr. Donald Wood, ladies thank and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Thank you so very much. Shall we go? Now, I, I've known Dr. Wood for a lot of years here. I would like to hear you once. I'd just like to hear him. Fitz, just once, give me a Rosen Garden. Rosen Garden. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you. You're coming on strong now. Keep the phone coming. New Jersey. New Welcome back. Hi, Big Ed. Hi, Jerry. We are in the uh, 
18th hour. It's 10.35 in the morning here in Las Vegas. And uh, we are holding at $18,084,387, all of which we are most grateful for. But we've got to do better. We have five hours to go. We're coming down to the wire. We will continue to do what we've been doing, that is entertain you, bring you the best show we possibly can, and at the same time let you know the reason we're here. Would you please join me in meeting my next guest? He's a resident of Las Vegas, but he is known and loved throughout the world as one of the purest singers of American blues and jazz music. Please welcome the incomparable Joe Williams, ladies and gentlemen. I want a little girl to love a lot. I'll give her everything I've got. Just a little girl to fall in love with me. I want a little girl who may not look like the pictures in a storybook. But if she can cook, she will suit me to a tea. She won't have to wave her hair Nor dress in fancy clothes I wouldn't even care If she don't wear silken hose I want a little girl to call my own There must be someone who is all alone Oh, just a little girl to fall in love with me To fall in love with me I want a little girl That suits me to a T She won't have to fry Or jerry curl her hair Or dress in Tina Turner's clothes And I wouldn't even care If she don't wear nylon hose I want a little girl, a certain kind The kind that you read about but never find Just a little girl to fall in love with me I want a little girl to fall in love with me. Mr. Joe Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry! Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jerry. Send money. Send money. We must cure this thing, MD. Let's take him off with a real cheer. That man came all the way from Chicago, Denver. Thank you, Joe. Now, here's a message from one of the world's great film stars, a good friend of mine and a friend of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, Mr. Jack Lemmon. This year and last have been a time of promise and hope for families all over the world. These are families who have been devastated by the effects of muscle diseases on a loved one. Many of these diseases are life-threatening, and these families live with fear and anxiety because of the uncertainties of tomorrow. But, as I said, this is a time of hope, and it's hope that keeps these families from despair. This was the year of one of the great achievements in medical history, the opening of a door to an era of great promise. A team from Children's Hospital, Harvard Medical School, was able to isolate the defective gene that causes the most common and deadly form of muscular dystrophy, the Duchenne type. His victims rarely survive beyond age 20. This discovery can not only lead to treatment and cure for the victims of the 40 diseases that MDA covers, it can also lead ultimately to treatment and cure for over 4,000 genetic diseases that have plagued mankind for centuries. You'll be helping all of Jerry's kids. You also could be helping your own family, even yourself. 
to avoid genetic diseases in the years to come simply by going to your phone now. Call in your pledge. I think you'll feel good about it. Thank you, Jack. Please take Jack's advice and go to your phone now. The tremendous research progress Jack told us about was made possible through the dollars you pledged to our past telethons. Please help us go forward by pledging as much as you can. We're waiting to hear from you. Call now, please. Thank you. Ed. Let's welcome back the chairman of the board, president, and chief executive officer of Service Merchandise Company and MDA vice president, Raymond Zimmerman. Welcome back, Ray. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. This is my final presentation, the one I'm the proudest of. The other one was for our Harry Zimmerman dinner. The, the next one was uh, uh, for our, our benefits, our programs, our fundraisers, both of which were a lot of fun for our associates because they got to ask their friends, our customers, and our vendors to contribute to something they feel very strongly about. This one is the important one. This is one where they not, gave, not only gave of their time and energies, but of their own money out of their own pocket. And from our payroll deduction, from our associates at Service Merchandise, it's my pleasure to present you this check for $220,792, making our grand total $1,556,995. Ed. Jerry, the fight against muscle disease is supported by a contribution from Anheuser-Busch and its wholesalers based on the sale of Budweiser and Bud Light during the month of August. But just as important is the hard work of Anheuser-Busch's 960 wholesalers and their employees. Five of these wholesalers have been exceptional in their efforts to raise money for Jerry's kids winning Anheuser-Busch's MDA Wholesaler Achievement Award. We met two of them earlier, now let's meet the other three. Hi, Jerry, I'm Don Klopsik, Westside Global in Budweiser out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome, and, uh, Don. Fine, on behalf of uh, our employees and all our fine retailers in the Grand Rapids areas, uh, we're happy to say that we were able to raise $26,000, which makes a total of 120,000 over four years for your kids. That's great, thank you. Hi, Jerry. Hi. I'm John Economist with Atlanta Beverage Company in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'd just like to say that on behalf of our 3,800 retail customers, our 430 employees at Atlanta Beverage Company, and my four boys, that uh, we're very pleased to announce that we raised $75,000 in Atlanta to help you and your kids. Thank you very much, John. Hi, Jerry. I'm Rich Gannon, and I'm representing High Grade Beverage and Mr. Joseph DeMarco. Uh, with our Shamrock program this year, we raised $85,000, and that gives us a total of $186,000 over the four years. That's great. And we thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you for your help. And thank Dan Heiserbush for us. Thank you. Okay. To those boys from Anheuser-Busch, I had some nice news. You I need a timpani roll. Give him a timpani. Let's roll it. Turn it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> My next guests usually work their magic act smoothly, but for this show, they have a problem. They had to replace their assistant at the last minute, so please give special encouragement to Cole and Company. Here they are.
to mention that none of his magic uses trick photography of any kind. What you see is actually happening. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Cole and Company presents their classic of classics, Sawing a Woman in Half. And I thought I was wacko, huh? <laughs> okay, we have a... It's a mil million dollars. And I just fold all these checks very carefully so that they go to the right place, I promise you. Jerry? Yes? Here I am again. You can do it anytime you okay. want, Okay, timpani roll. Timpani! 
Do it. And Do me a favor. Yeah. it let's make some headway now let's get on with it let's move that board you're making the calls that's terrific i don't know what turned you around but keep it there keep facing the phone and press those buttons and do good this stuff my next guest was raised in kenya and he was headed for a career in medicine with a homie in his head and a hi hi and then someone put a guitar in his hands and he found a new adventure in writing and singing songs. Now, 30 years later, he's become an international star. We're proud to present him on this program. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roger Whit. There's a ship lies rigged and ready in the harbor. Tomorrow for old England, she says. Far away from your land of endless sunshine To my land full of rainy skies and gales And I shall be aboard that ship tomorrow For my heart is full of tears at this farewell For you are beautiful And I have loved you dearly more dearly than the spoken word can tell For you are beautiful And I have loved you dearly More dearly than the spoken word can tell I heard there's a wicked war a blazing and the taste of war I know so very well Why, even now, I see the foreign flag raising Their guns on fire as we sail into hell I have no fear of death, it brings no sun But how me too will be this last farewell For you are beautiful and I have loved you dearly, more dearly than a spoken word can tell. For you are beautiful, and I have loved you dearly, more dearly than a spoken word can tell. No death and darkness gather all about me. And my ship be torn apart upon the sea I shall smell again the fragrance of these islands In the heaving waves that brought me once to thee And should I return safe home again to England I shall watch the English mist roll through the dead I have loved you dearly, more dearly than the spoken word can tell. For you are beautiful, and I have loved you dearly, more dearly than the spoken word can tell. Thank you, Roger, so much. Terrific. Thank you. It's so nice when you can ask show people to come here and they come here. It was that simple. I did a show a couple of years ago with Roger Whitaker. I think it was one of the Merv Griffin shows, and I said, Roger, please come and do the telethon. He said, I, you've got me. Last year he wasn't available. He called this year and said, I'm ready. And there he was. And, and that's, that's really marvelous, and we're very grateful. I think we billboard now. I think we go and tell them what's happening in the next hour. I think we should do that. 
All right, first off, Jerry, we want to show a list, a partial list of some of the people that put this telethon together. Here's your first look at some of those folks right here. in the next hour, Jerry will be back to bring you Tony Orlando, Rod Steiger, the Charlie Daniels Band, and much, much more, so don't go away. Once more, we start showing that the tri-states have heart. Back again with Tony. It's us, it's us. Right here on the telethon. Do it again, do it again. Swing it again. Channel and bring it, us in, back again, carry it on. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, indeed. Hey, Tony, come here. Come here, I don't care what we get scheduled. Come here. Come here, just Bye, come Tony. here. Excuse me. Come here. Yes, go. Give us go, a camera. Please, come go. Here. Sick him. Just sick him. Don't let him stand like that through this whole segment. I just, just will run against everything we stand for. Go get him, Tony. Come on, baby. Go get him. Close it on him, kid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> He's tough. <laughs> He's real tall. Yeah, he <laughs> Colette, your zipper's open. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the man is tough, man. Yes, sir, this is a real man from the Merchant Marine. This guy ain't gonna move for nobody. Nothing. All I can say from the bottom of my heart, I think you're cute. <laughs> All I can say from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> this man is tough. Yeah, he's the toughest I ever saw. This man may not be alive. <laughs> Colette, you are a symbol of dedication and commitment. If we, at this telethon, can have this same dedication and commitment, I know there's one thing that can make you speak out. I know that in the bottom of my heart, I can make you say something to that camera. You can break tradition right now on behalf of Jerry's kids. You can look at that camera and say, please call. Please call. Enough said. How about a hand for, for the man here? You know, you know, you know, 
that we have a thing here called Rose and Garden, which means if you say Rose and Garden, it means that we bring up the tote board, which hopefully will bring us good news. Pardon me? Yes, sir. Do you have it in you to make it loud? Yes, sir. Well, lay it on him. Rose and Garden! Hit it! Let's see what we got here, Colette. Yes! Good! 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 Thank you, son! Thank you! New York, the tri-state area, New Jersey, thank you. We're coming up on $3 million. And Fitz, oh, bring it in Hudson County. We, are we gotta go? We gotta, we gotta go on the bio. Okay, Rose and Garden, let's look at what we got right now. Come on, help us on the phones and we're gonna go back to Vegas on the tote. Hit it, let's see what we got. Coming up on 2.30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 